Hi guys, welcome to the Movie Reviewers 100. Um, sorry I've been away for a couple of weeks, um, but I'm back now and it's uh, Bruce Willis mo uh, week and um, I've decided to review the movie Unbreakable. And um, I actually like this film, believe it or not, um, even though it's directed by M. Night Shyamalan and, or Shyamalan, or, um, um, however you pronounce his name. Um, you know, he's not, he's not had a very good track record, record, well, track record lately, but, um, you know, he, when he first started out, he was like this up-and-coming director who was going to be the, um, the answer to Steven Spielberg. He was going to be this new um, sort of sci-fi guy that was going to, you know, bring back, um, you know, the sci-fi genre to the popular masses and um, have and make an ori original um, movies as well. And uh, things started off great, you know, you've got The Sixth Sense, uh, another great film with Bruce Willis, and then you've got um, Unbreakable, which, you know, which I'll talk about in a second. Even Science had its uh, good points, but then uh, it all sort of all started plummeting majorly downhill um, after Lady in the Water. And, uh, well, the less said about the others after that, um, the better. Um... But this one, Unbreakable, I, I can't fault. It was it's a fantastic film. Um, you know, Batman Begins was gone, given a lot of credit for taking the superhero genre and um, making it more relevant, more in the real world. But uh, to be honest with you, Unbreakable uh, had already, already done that and even made it even more believable. You know, saying um, what would happen if a uh, your your average man suddenly discovered that. Uh, there was something more about him, something special about him, that he, that he actually maybe has, um, you know, abilities, uh, superpowers, um, that maybe could be used in the real world um, to help save people, and um, and whether that person would want that responsibility, and um, and you know, and why someone else who um, is the complete uh, opposite of that man would want to encourage, um, you know, a superhero to exist in, in, in our own universe. And, um, yeah, I mean, Bruce Willis plays the reluctant hero brilliantly in this film. Um, he's slowly, try, you know, finding out that maybe, you know, he might be a superhero. Samuel Jackson um, plays the opposite to him. He's a man who's befriend, befriended um, uh, Bruce Willis and is telling him that he is certain that Bruce Willis, because he survived a train crash that killed everybody else on the train, that Bruce Willis is and this invincible person who can't, you know, have his skin broken, he can't bleed, he can't um, uh, hurt himself, he can't break bones. Um, and Bruce was like, oh, you know, he's, he's quite traumatised by the, um, the event that happened at the start with the, the train crashing. Bruce will just kind of push him away. Oh, I'm not really interested. I don't want to know. Um, just leave me alone. Leave my family alone. His wife um, is, is kind of have, has a fractured relationship um, with the main character, Bruce Willis. So, you know, this, this whole train accident and um, Samuel Jackson's character coming in and saying, you know, your husband might be a superhero is actually not helping things with, with the relationship between his wife and his son. And so Bruce Willis is very reluctant um, to accept any of this, um, but uh, slowly finds out that maybe, you know, Samuel L. Jackson might be telling the truth, and um, it's it's kind of left to the viewer a little bit to work out maybe does Bruce Willis actually have these these powers, or you know maybe it was just um, a lucky coincidence that he was the only one that um, didn't get hurt. He was just lucky, you know, he just uh, um, was in the right place at the right time on the train and, and didn't get hurt. But, uh, you know, the the way the, the film um, follows through um, it has you gripped on the end of your seat and uh, it does have a famous M. Night Shyamalan twist at the end. And I have to admit, it's the only one I've never seen uh, coming. Um, I, I am... I'm not joking. I, when I watched The Sixth Sense of the cinema, I did work out the, the big twisty thing in that. But uh, this one, I didn't I didn't see it. I thought it was a very clever twist. Um, so uh, 
you know, it's brilliantly acted, uh, wonderfully shot. I love the use of colours that um, that the director used in the film, and um, you know, clever uses of uh, costumes as well, like um, how the raincoat he he made it look uh, slightly bigger um, throughout the film to to insinuate it, it. You know, it looks more like a cape during during the end of the film, um, and uh, just the use of colours of like good, good colours and you know, bad colours, things like that, um, lots of reds and um, to, to, you know, uh, represent Bruce Willis's character and purples to represent Samuel Jackson's character. Um, I just thought it was, it was very, you know, very clever. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, I, I don't know about you guys, if you've seen Unbreakable, do you agree with me? Do you think it's a great film? Um, if you do... Comment below if you don't think it's a great film and you think uh, it was a load of rubbish, just let me know that too. And, um, you know, I, I'm more than happy to uh, reply to the comments. I'll catch you later.